Welcome to Mudding with Beegs, episode 25, going to Union Station, Nashville, Tennessee in 1900. Let's see what we got today. Lady in uniform. You can see that mud flow down the hill here. Let's get these winders. Ether fencing up there. Arc light there. Another arc light. Let's see. The horse to build America right there. His name is Fred. He's hauling stuff today. Got some trolley action. Got a healing center here. Otherwise known as a re religious indoctrination center now. Or otherwise known as a church. We got ether on ether antennas on the buildings. Ether finials there. Arched windows. Big old a lot of bricks there. Old world liked their bricks. That's pretty cool right there. Big old arches here. back up and see what we got that man so you got mud flood windows down here looks like they've looks like we got more of the uh, archways here down under the ground area which is interesting this represents the uh, flat earth right here that's the eight point asterisk it's half of an asterisk but it's the same thing Interesting detailing on the windows. Crappy awning. So this building is probably brick with facade of stone. This looks Moorish right here. After finials. That's pretty cool. Portal. Another portal. They probably took something out of there. Hello. It looks like Mercury. The Cassidus. However you say that. Wow. Well, that's interesting. That's a chimney that's not a chimney. Looks like something... Got photoshopped out there. Oh, and I'm going to have juice and cookies served at the back tonight. I got a little something I found. It's going to be pretty cool. I do believe. Let's see what we got here. What's next? Post Office uh, Saginaw, Michigan. Hope I pronounced that right. 1905. And got your horse poo down here in case your horse poo interested in you know finding out where that is and seeing it on the road. Got a nice uniformed lady here. Early fire hydrant. I think fire hydrants are old world. Just my thinking. I can't see what's going on here. Could be a mud flood window right there. Hard to tell. Pretty trees keep off the grass and see this pile of dirt here this is one way they hide the mud flood so you see this start peek looking up because uh, it's probably gonna be something going on that this is they say this is a, a, a landscaping style it's not it's a it's a cover-up for that <laughs> They're trying to hide how, how deep that really went. This is a post office. I mean, because your mail needs all this stuff to make sure it gets on the pony to get ridden across the country. Yeah, that makes sense. A lot of sense. Mercury ball up there. 
That's wild right there, man. That's that's some kind of free energy doodad right there, I bet you. Dang, that thing's cool. I mean, you know, this should have been designated a church because cause it's very churchy. But no, they wanted to make this one a post office because they must not have had a... Oh, we got a Tartarian owl right here. That, mm, gosh, that kind of looks like a griffin. Kind of hard to tell, though, which is very interesting because then you'd have a Tartarian owl and griffin on the same building. Very interesting. Not sure, not clear enough to make a determination. Ether antenna, fractal antenna, you know. Let's see. Can't read the sign. Looks like something about a ship. My flood windows down here. There's Fred. He's building America, you know. Fred is the horse that built America. Circa 1906, City Hall, Louisville, Kentucky. And so that's an electrical pole. There's Fred. He's getting around, making sure everything's getting done. We've got wet flood windows here. See, this is ground level. Okay. And this is going below the ground level. That's Saz Bossman right there. He's inspecting the mud flood evidence. We would have added these stairs here. And this probably, whole thing was probably the door. I would imagine. More mud flood windows. Got you a ghosty fella there. Hitching post, another hitching post. I think this has something to do with fractal, you know, power with the free energy, these sides of the building, the way they're, they're done like this. Just, just the thinking here. I don't know. Interesting heads on here. looks like a boar. Can't tell what that one is. Oh, baby. Big old clocks. You know, those had to have been expensive. Ether fencing, big old ether antenna. Oh, that's a radio tower. Okay. Call it whatever you want. Whatever makes you feel better. That's interesting right there. City Hall. That represents the tourist field right there. Wow. Got coal, uh, hitching post, coal hole cover, hitching post. These circles right here are all coal hole covers. More uh, mud flood right there we would have added these stairs here let's see get your whiskey might need it after you go to the city hall and find out how much your taxes are gonna be nah, they weren't that bad back then circa 1908 south corridor library of congress washington dc or Rome, either way. That could be a eight point asterisk right there. Representing your flat earth, your north or south, and your Taurus field. It's like a Florida Lee right there. Diamond symbology.
represent the Taurus field. Uh, that's really cool right there. I mean, this thing's straight out of Rome. It looks like there should have been something on it. Maybe it's been scrubbed. Possible. Laurel leaf of control. Pyramid, octagon. Wow. I mean, this is the Library of Congress. You know, I mean, this is straight out of, you know, Rome. I mean, seriously. Pyramid. Wow. I mean, that's a trip. Commonwealth Avenue, Boston, 1902. You can see a whole lot up there. There's an eight point asterisk right there. You would call it a cross. But it is an eight point asterisk, so that represents the flat earth. Nice antennas there. Antenna here, antenna here. Bringing in the ether. Otherwise known as free energy. Another ether antenna up here. These are fractal antennas. I mean, this is like Europe right here. And they call it Boston. I mean, seriously, does that look like Boston? Not my mind. Look at that away antenna. That's crazy looking. These are just way different ways of bringing in the ether. Looks like a rose window or a cymatic pattern. Interesting pipe going down there. Antenna, antenna, antenna finial. A healing center, quote unquote. AKA church. There's a nice antenna. These are fractal antennas. Phoenician ship. Oh, that's cool. Florida Lee. Florida Lee is not French. It's a bunch of horse shit. Mud flood windows. More over here. More mud flow windows right there. Basically, this whole thing's mud flood. Hard to see, but it's there. More mud flood. I mean, does that look like it? Knee it like? Does that look like how you would design it? Hell no, Mr. Contractor. Why did you do this? Seriously, you didn't. <laughs> it's a rhetorical question. Confederate Monument, Richmond, Virginia, 1902. Okay. So, this is Egypt. In Virginia. And we're going to stick our hand in our shirt and say that we are part of the problem. Otherwise known as the Masons. Okay, looks like Latin. I don't know what that means. Someone got to tell me what that means. I don't know. Somebody does not do a good job of maintaining this structure. Okay, if the this is supposed to be a Civil War monument. Okay, the Civil War, you know, was around 1865 ish. Okay, so you're talking, you know little bit of years and and then you know what's 35 years and then you know that they didn't get around to building this right away so let's say 25 years I mean seriously in 25 years it's gonna look like this you know I mean oh, okay 
cared for by the ladies Hollywood Memorial Association well y'all ladies ain't doing a very good job y'all need to get out some trimmers and trim the bush if you know what I'm saying just saying got to keep your phallic symbols looking good Detroit 1906 Griswold Street and what do we got here let's see rubber stamps and seals oh mud flood right here and here yeah no doubt well there's Freddy's on the job he's hauling beer look at that man details crazy well we can wire something up in a heartbeat that's something we're good at arched windows oh nice antenna work eight point asterisks right here fractal fractal uh, fences could could be a shell with a pyramid and there's a pyramid symbology Wow look at that cornice oh okay crazy grand trunk railway system okay Keystone, mud flood. We add these crappy entrances right here to control the, you know, so you don't have to go through the big door. So they put in a little door. So why are you going to build this huge archway here that, that's really nice and ornate, and then you're going to put in this crappy box to enter by? You, you couldn't like add a little something that was that made sense to the structure. No, because we didn't build it. There's Law Dog with his little penis hat. And what else we got? One mud flood down there. Got something going on here in the road. Well, that's an interesting ad. Pyramid. Antenna, antenna, da, 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 da. we had these awnings, da, da, da. mud flood entrance right there, mud flood windows right here, this right here, see the shaded area, that is probably pavement light little hard to tell but it's got the telltale signs of pavement light and mud flood area here this could be pavement light here to see this line right here that could be pavement light so could this right here and this here that all suspect for pavement light there's mud flood drop in right there. I mean, look at the drop down the stairs right there. Does that make sense? Hell no. Mr. Contractor, why did you do that? I mean, are you just on a short bus? Is that the problem? Could you not figure out the difference you know, between making a wood structure and making a brick structure? And you got a little confused, so you started building your windows below ground? No. You're not that dumb. You act that dumb sometimes, Mr. Contractor. American Steel Alarm. American Steel Alarm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah, this is 1906, and this thing looks like it's about to fall off. Looks like it's getting old already. Why would it be getting old already? Is this building that old? Same here. A 
Wow. That's cool. Super cool. We had these fire escape junk arched windows. Man, this just keeps going up and up and up and up. Look at that thing. Good grief. Portal. Another portal here. See, that's what happens to a flag when you put it on a building. It rips up when you put it on a flagpole. Because it ain't a flagpole. It's an ether antenna. Look at that corn. It's good grief. I mean, there's just no reason to build like that. Representing the Taurus right there. This is 1906. I mean, there's no reason in 1906 to build like this. I, I mean, I can't imagine why you would want to build like this. I mean, it's just, it's too much effort. Laurel Leaf of Control. Portal, 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 portal. With the windows that turn. Which is interesting. Tartarian lions all the way across. Some kind of ether antenna. That's wild looking. Mercury ball. What a world. Just amazing. Detroit, and this is the Hudson Fultron celebration during October 1909. So this is a colorized black and white photo, which is something that's becoming more popular today, which I think is really cool. It's a lot of work. I don't know what that critter is. It could be a lion, but it's hard to tell. That's pretty cornice. Junk writing on the windows. Vanderbilt. Yeah. This right here um, is pavement light. And whoever painted, uh, did this picture did not know what they were seeing in the photograph. And they did not paint this right. This should have been painted um, with the blocks, the little squares. There's an eight point asterisk right there. And that is vent into the underground. Um, but I, I know this photograph. I know this black and white photograph. And it is a uh, ventilation into the buildings. Um, it, that is definitely pavement light. And they uh, there's Fred. He's delivering. That's what he does. Um, but that is definitely pavement light. And they just, it's not painted in this picture correctly. So we got underground over here mud flood winders we had these crappy things right here of course we had the crappy awnings keystones it looks so much different in color portals look at the garland that's cool Probably free energy light portals across the top of the window here. Up top of the building here. Wow. More free energy lights. I mean, seriously. Who's paying for all to light all these lights? Does that make sense? That might be the laurel leaf right there. Uh, it could be a lion or possibly a green man. Hard to tell from that photograph. That's a cool gazebo thingy. Scrubbed cartouche. The 
these look scrubbed too. God, I must have to put some brand new flags up. Yeah, these have to be brand new. They wouldn't last up there like that. Portals all the way across this thing. Jeez. Okay, we got a ship sticking out the side, so reminds me of Phoenicians. Wow, that's really very weird. Why in the hell do you got a ship sticking outside of the building? Okay, that's very strange. Mud flood windows right there. Drop down, drop down there too. They do stuff like this and it takes away from how big the door is. What an odd thing to stick outside of a building. There's mud flood drop in right there. Got a road crew. Another portal here, ether antenna. More ether antennas over here. That's that ball span right there. Duval County Courthouse, Jacksonville, Florida, between 1900 and 1905. And what do we got? Let's see. That's the ass ball span right there. We got something we built right here. Mr. Contractor built that. He can build a stick frame now. Arched windows. Arched windows, keystone, pyramid, portal, capacitors, ether antenna, pyramid. Wow, look at those capacitors. Jeez. Might have taken something out here that is portal. Hello, bring in the ether. It's an amazing world, this place. Portal. Another antenna up there. Got portals back here. Representing the tourist field. Ladies in uniform. Mud flood. Probably, uh, they probably did something to this area here, but it's hard to tell. I wouldn't say that's mud flood window. But that is very suspicious. And I know Mr. Contractor would say, oh, there's a vent to the basement. Okay. Yes, thank you for the official story. The next time I need it, I will give you a call. Until then, shut up. Nobody cares. Dome over here. Okay. And exhibition building, St. Louis, uh, published between 1884 and 1906. Faust Opera Company. Yeah, you know, it's amazing how many opera houses there were. Seriously, opera sucks. I'm going to be honest, opera sucks ass. So why is everybody going to opera? I mean, seriously, how many sophisticated people are there that can actually stand a night of opera? But there's opera houses everywhere. Like, opera was the biggest thing since sliced bread. It makes no sense. Have you ever? I, I I don't I can't I can't say I've personally ever met anybody that says you know what opera is the bomb, it is the best music since, you know, Elvis. 
Have you ever met anybody that liked opera? Opera. <laughs> Kiss my ass. I don't, I just don't buy it. I'm not saying there aren't people that don't like opera. I'm just saying that there ain't no reason to have opera houses all over the damn country. There just ain't enough patrons to go to the damn opera. People much rather go to the saloon than the damn opera any day. I don't know, maybe it's a lady thing. Maybe we'll have to ask the lady. Maybe the lady folk are liking it. I don't know. I, I, yeah, we're going to put big windows on the ground and then we're going to have to put bars on them because we don't want anybody to get in. Boy, that makes sense. That's a big old door right there. Man. That could be considered an eight-point asterisk right there. In case you were looking for that. And what else we got? Pyramid. Circumpunct. Yeah, that... Does that wording look like it goes with that building? Shitty wording, beautiful building. Which one of these things isn't like the other? I'm just saying. It's like that child game, which thing is just not like the other? I mean, it's seriously. This is a dark place, man. Why is it so dark? Creepy. Fost. Very interesting. Look at the size of that wall compared to that person right there. Is that a kid? Oh, that's a, a newsie. That's boss man right there. I, I'm, I don't see. Fred is, he must be having, he must be on lunch break. Old Fred, the horse to build America. I mean, Fred had to bring in all this brick right here to build this building, you know. Got an arc light right here. Can't you like those? I mean, you know, that's what he does. All right, let's move on. Holyoke, Massachusetts, 1908 High Street. And there's Fred on the job as usual, doing his thing. He's up on the hitching post. See what's going on. That's boss man right there. He's boss manning. A little something something there. Foth Shields. Foth Childs. Foth Childs. Okay, anybody else thinking Rothschild? Very interesting. Wonder if there's a connection. Represents the Taurus. Nice arched windows. Uh, prism like glasses there we had the crappy awnings mr. contractor did that for us because he can he can add awnings good job mr. contractor good job you didn't do that though interesting right here I guess that's an ice barrier be my guess because it's on one the side that's to the street that would make sense like an ice dam interesting little dome right there arc light and Fred cute oh Fred had to build America and all these open trolleys are just a trip to me so weird it's like Disneyland ride got a spiral pole might be a barbershop nearby got a etherin fencing there with an antenna here lady in uniform another one over here another one right here Oh, aren't they cute? That's picture perfect right there. Just ain't clear. Ventilation into the underground right there. Got a big old, that's pretty interesting clock there. 
might be just a display though Pyramid symbology. Interesting. Right there. That's a crappy. That probably is an addition right there, that chimney. See how crappy the, the work is? It's not even straight. They couldn't even build the, the chimney straight. Mr. Contractor built that. Good job, Mr. Contractor. But you didn't build that portal. No, Mr. Contractor didn't build that. That's cool right there. I don't know what that is. Weird looking. Hardware. These old hardware stores are usually weird too. That's something that is very true that they there's always like a strange hardware store in these cities I guess I mean they would have been one of the first you know stores on site so uh, Kenley Ken, Ken, Kenley worth in Ashwin 1902 that's a picture pyramid here pyramid here antenna they would say these are lightning rods I wouldn't be so sure about that antennas that's beautiful that's just really nice Asheville so beautiful if you've never been it's really cool very neat place part of a castle here that's an interesting chimney I wonder if we added that got your mud flood windows here nice arch it's pretty cool so this probably goes straight across here underground and I I have a feeling that this goes deeper that looks like it would be a deeper building too there's a chimney this smokestack that's not a smokestack all righty looking up Broadway from City Hall New York City 1903 and what do we got got Fred on the job as usual getting the job done getting the deliveries made got pavement light right here all right there that's pavement light portal free energy lights oh those things are cool it's like a snake wrapped around it that's some kind of badass right there we got the crappy writing all over the windows. We're good at that. We got that covered. We can write something on a window now. That's for sure. We can paint. Well, not write. I guess they painted it on there. There's portals. What else are you going to show us here? Got an ether antenna, mercury ball, ether fencing up here. A shell Phoenician. Another shell. I believe that's a lion. Yeah, lions, Tartaria, Phoenician, woman here, laurel leaf of control. Whoa, mama. National shoe. And leather bank building so we need a national shoe and leather bank okay that makes sense 
somehow to someone not I but someone mud flood wind is there so this is interesting they got pavement like here and then mud flood here so all this is vault underneath this is all open here underneath there they built a bridge over <laughs> this one <laughs> jeez interesting little clock maybe a mercury ball on top coal hole cover right there pavement light right there more pavement light right here clock right there Laurel leaf of control here. Ooh, how could you live with all these people up under you? I just don't want. Uh -uh. I don't get that. Antennas up here. Flight poles really are ridiculous once you think about them. Dome with an antenna up here. Oh my goodness, smoke actual smoke we would add the fire escapes mr. contractor he did that that's what mr. contractor does he fills in the gap that's boss man right there that's a, a brick road disc must be the desk delivery man. Okay. Louisville, Kentucky, circa 1906, Lincoln Savings Bank. Big old Tartarian lines. Roar. Now explain to me what a Tartarian line has to do with America. Orange Grove Cartouches. When's the last time you saw a, a line in America that wasn't in a cage or in a stage show, a magic act? I'm just saying, why would you have lines all, what does that represent? Laurel leaf of control, crappy writing on the building. Ooh, what we got going here? So this is, they're, they're, they'll say, oh, this is a construction photo. No, no, no. This is them fixing what's broke. Okay. Here they're adding pavement light. Okay. That's a pavement light installation right there. That's what they're doing. And there's pavement light right there. There's radiators. They might be taking them out. Hard to tell. I think radiators are old world. Get your whiskey. The kind father drinks. Oh, well, that's just awesome. your ball up there antenna AE right here interesting diamond symbology Nice arched window there. Temporary quarters, Lincoln Savings Bank. For rent, this building apply within. Interesting. So they're just getting this place started. Yep. 
very interesting. And this just right here, they... You know, I I, I, th I think it's possible they, they ripped all this stuff up from underground and brought it up. And that they're in reinstalling it. That's just my thinking. That's Ball's Man right there. Okay, Metropolitan Museum of Art, New York City, 1900 to 1906, somewhere in that time frame. Got an incubator baby. Got a flat earth asterisk right here that represents the flat earth. Arc light. That's a big old pyramid. Ether antennas, ether fencing all the way across the top here. That's an interesting, is that a cat? Phoenician shell. Weird. Big old ether lights, those are, those things are cool. Mud flood windows here. Must be some over here. Okay, yeah. Right here. Another big old building with mud flood windows back there. Interesting design work up there. Okay. New Haven, Connecticut, 1910. Students leaving Patel Chapel. Yale University. Oh, okay. So let's mold the young minds of the elitist. And Fred is on the job getting the bricks to the job site so Mr. Contractor can build this world because Mr. Contractor built this, you know. Shit. Arc light. Yeah, this looks like a school to me. Yeah, this this is very school looking. We need this to go to school. This helps with our education. Of course, this is Yale. Got a big old flat earth asterisk right here. No doubt. That's very cymatic -y. Interesting. It's like a Jewish star there. Wow, look at that wrought iron. Cool. Let's see. They're playing with the ground level here. Got a door off out of the frame here, doing something there. So they got a bunch of doors. They're doing some construction work here. That's boss man right there. He's keeping an eye on things. That's Morsh looking right there. That is too. Okay, very interesting. You know, we we can build like this, but we cannot pave a street. I mean, that's just not going to happen. So get over it. New Orleans, 1906. Rec, the Rex Pageant Mardi Gras. Ooh, now that's a party. 
that's what I'm talking about right there. I mean, as far as I can see, these people are having a good time, I'm telling you. I mean, seriously. Phoenician wave right here. These must be the highbrow. That's a hell of a party here. That's interesting. Everybody's at New Orleans getting their Mardi Gras on. You know, there's one thing I know about Mardi Gras, and that's that, you know, you can throw out the beads and, well, you get a show. I don't see no beads, and I don't see no show. So what changed? Just saying. In Utopia. Very interesting. Is that a dragon? A Slipknot logo. <laughs> Clock. Clocks are expensive. Arc light. We got a nice dome there. Ether antenna. Wow, a lot going on here. That's boss man right there. Just sitting in a crowd. Hello, pretty lady. Let's see. Let's see here. Where are we going? I mean, this is a heck of a party. What's that thing? Is that a dirigible? I don't know what that is. That's crazy looking. Something Blanc. Blanco. Something. I don't know. Portals. Ether antennas, another ether antenna, ether antenna, get rid of the crappy flag because it's just going to break apart, fly off, no point putting it up there, another arc light, I'm assuming that's New Orleans Railway and Light Company, oh this is a hell of a party. Nineteen oh six. Dental rooms. These must be more highbrow folk up here. They don't like to mix with the lowering lower the lower people. The little folk. That's pretty cool right there. Symbology there. Five intense scent store. That's some, that's really cool. We're a long ways away from that. Anything for ten cents, maybe. Kirby's. All right. New York. 1904 Dreamland Park Airship Building, Coney Island. Step right up to see Santos Dumont Airship Number no. Nine. Only a dime. Extra added Axis flavored attractions. Swastika decorations on this Japanese pagoda. All right. Oh yeah. Interesting. Got your swastika. Swastikas are very important. Pyramid, pyramid within the circle. Very interesting. Not sure what this would be. I mean, you know, you could say, oh, that's hashtag. No, no. That's not a hashtag. I don't know what that represents. 
your diamond and your and your cube airship. That's boss man right there. Getting the boss man in done. Airship admission ten cents. Ten cents. Tartarian lion sitting on a ball right there. That's boss lady. Woman in uniform. Old scratch. Temptations. All right. Ice cream. Now that's a temptation. Yep. Horton's ice cream. Okay. What else we got? Let's go look up this pagoda here. Whoa, mama. Hello. Yeah. Now that's an antenna. With a light show. <laughs> we would have added the lights. Scrub cartouche, portal. There's another Tartarian lion sitting on a ball. Tart that means Tartaria. Souvenirs check room. That's the fireman show right there. So that's interesting. That's a cartouche with a fire helmet on it. So, you know, you see a cartouche like this and makes, I say that's a scrubbed cartouche. What I mean is that they took off whatever was on there. See on this one, it has a fire helmet. I mean, who's to say that this thing don't have, didn't originally have something sticking right off the front of it, a symbol of some sort, and they came in here and just chiseled it off. It would not be hard. That's pretty right there. All right. New York, 1904 Hotel Manhattan, Madison Avenue, 42nd Street. Got Florida Lee on your ether fencing here on the top of this building that we're looking on. And there's Fred, he's on the job. You got pavement light here, got a, a, a trap door here that goes down into the uh, vault, which is underneath. Got a coal hole cover, coal hole cover, another one here. Got more pavement light right here. This is pavement light with that's a trap door that opens up. You got mud flood windows here, ether lighting. Good grief. Got stairs going down into the mud flood. Why would you do that? Why? 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 Coal hole cover there, there, there. That might be a steam vent there. Fire hydrant. Got more mud flood down there. Ether lighting right here. More downward into the mud flood. Trap door. Drugs. Ether antenna. Whoa. Okay. Another. Ooh, that's a big old ether antenna. Capacitors. Portals. Torse field representation. Another antenna right there. We would have added this crappy fire escape right here. I don't know what's going on right there. It's something interesting they've put together. Scrubbed cartouche. Oh, okay. See, here's here's what I'm saying. Y your door's back here, but they don't want you to go through that door. That the big old door. They they make the secondary door. Okay, here. And, you know, it, it's, it serves a purpose. It makes sense. Uh, what, you know, we get in, we get out, unload, and then we don't have to walk in the elements. You know, it covers you from the rain. You can get inside and everything. And it, then it, it keeps the, um, 
the air from going in and out with the big door but the thing is why did you not think about that when you were designing this building why is this an afterthought this is obviously an afterthought this is obviously something they came up with afterwards so why didn't you figure that out originally all these uh, ether lights mud flood windows all down the side coal hole cover here 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 Capacitors, all that mud right there. More mud flood windows over here. Your healing center here, aka a church. Well, I mean, that's why they had to come up with so many different, you know, denominations of, of you know, divisions in religion in Christianity because they had to have a lot of these these churches they, they that's why they had the division they they had to come up with excuses for why there's so many damn churches <laughs> so you had the splits in the church and then you had the splits within the church and the church and you know you have these what is it 25,000 different versions of Christianity none of them agree on each other I mean come on who's writing this horse shit Pyramid, scrub cartouche, scrub cartouche here, scrub cartouche. These look scrubbed here. Something, I don't know, that's weird looking. That looks, that looks very Phoenician right there. Those are very interesting. Wow, a lot going on there. New York, 1908, the big Pennsylvania uh, hole, excavations for Pennsylvania Station. So we've got some construction photo here. All right. Let's just see if we can see anything that makes any sense. like it's I'd say that's bedrock there hard to tell though I don't know interesting cranes here steam-powered that could be a flat earth asterisk right there ether antennas up here another one here Another crane, Macy's. Antennas all over the tops here. Big old onion domes. Saxon Company. This looks like building of the cons the construction of the building maybe. Tell looks like they're just working on the foundations and the that's weird that they're just standing there holding a big ass piece of steel gear. That's odd. That thing looks like it's about to fall apart. A lot of pipes. I don't know. I suspect that a lot of these construction photos are also old world photos that are found so i'm basically not trusting the old world construction photos i don't care what they're of 
because just because you put a copyright date on it don't mean that it was that photograph was taken at that time I think photography is old world and I think the pictures are very old so let's move on New York circa 1905 dreamland Coney Island and this burned to the ground I guess uh, from what this says I can't remember anywho and we got the shooting down the waterway here that's interesting I guess these guys are going up because you're supposed to shoot down this interesting that's really weird right there what is that fall of Pompeii exhibit okay interesting I believe this is an old world theme park that's interesting I guess it's made to look like a battleship or something ferris wheel loop the loop all these antennas man this thing's got a lot of antennas here Tartarian lions and this is we were looking at this earlier this is a different angle we were looking from the angle over here the photograph would have been taken from probably right in here looking at this so the airship would have been parked back here somewhere there's another look at that antenna steeplechase Big old observation tower, ether antenna on top. There's the fighting flames, the firefighter show. This place is just crazy. You know, I, I always thought, you know, Disney World and Disneyland were very original. This is, you know, straight up Disneyland. Straight up Disney World. Diamond symbology. You got your eagle, quote unquote, phoenix going all the way up I'd say that's probably a, a flat earth asterisk right there I do believe it's interesting right there oh, Wow eagle on a ball so that would be a a uh, Phoenix on a ball and this is just cool boom <laughs> hoorah how you like that <laughs> that's cool huh somebody's colorized this this picture so I've, I found this different place but it's the same picture it just really gives a different perspective of this place look at that it's photoshopped right there <laughs> interesting it just gives a whole different perspective Luna Park I, you know who knows if these colors are correct or anything like that but 
artistically it's really cool it, it just it gives you a different way of seeing it the same picture it just has a different feel to it altogether makes different things pop out look at that Vesica Paces right there interesting I didn't even see that really cool bow stock that's odd that's really weird it just gives you a different perspective you don't find these too often but just I don't know it's just really cool to me okay let's see what else we got New York 1904 Surf Avenue Coney Island the great musical and scenic railway roller coaster day and night in the Alps an observation tower advertising steeplechase park and it left the Mont Pele and Galveston flood exhibit okay and I learned this week that uh, by accident that uh, they raised Galveston Texas the entire city they raised it so I've got to look into that for viaduct being a viaduct city and this is confirmed absolutely confirmed they raised the city of Galveston I knew they built a seawall but in the process of building a seawall they also had the entire city raised it is to eat it is to laugh it is to drink quick launch camps 21st century spectacular bicycles checked <laughs> okay uh, oh yeah there's Fred he's on he's on the job doing his job he wouldn't have been in the park pictures but he, he's on the outside delivering you know the parts to build this place Musical scenery, scenery, day and night in the Alps. Trip across the content on the Great Musical Railway. Most exciting novel and greatest ride on earth. County Fair. Okay. You know, their idea of fun at this time is very different than our idea of fun today I don't know I, some of these things I just don't know what the hell they find interesting about it but brewery okay got you an elevator wonder if old Otis built that all right, moving on. New York, 1905, Bo Stock, Dreamland, Coney Island. So this is some kind of animal doodad. Oh, look at the elephants. Too bad they treat them like crap. Ladies in uniform. So that's boss band. Continuous trained lions, tigers, bears, panthers, wolves, elephants, hyenas, etc. Okay. Man carrying around a lion on his back. Huh. That's kind of interesting if you think about it. 
imagine that being Tartaria. Man's carrying around the uh, the lion. I don't know. Bowstock. The animal king. Well, isn't he just sure of himself? Tartarian lions all over the place. Reminds me of a Phoenician shell. Big old Tartarian lines up here. Yeah, okay. Lady Liberty, quote unquote. More ether antennas. Another Tartarian lion. Why are there so many lions on this place? Phoenician wave. All right. New York 1905 Main Tower, Luna Park, Coney Island. Lots of ladies in uniform. Dang, that thing just keeps going. Good grief. Elephants. These look like free energy lights that have been modified and they put these shitty little plants on top. Because, well, I don't know, they smoke some dope? I don't know why you would do that. It just looks really stupid. Does that look right? That's a plant, okay? Look, it's a plant. That don't look right. That looks like right. That's a flat earth asterisk. Whole bunch of them. Man, got the circus going on. Got a horse. That's Fred. He's doing a, a ring show today. He had they they had him as a circus animal too. Old Fred, he gets around. Hit their antenna. Antennas everywhere. Tartarian lion. Flat Earth asterisk right there. And there. Port in a portal. All right, oh, man, what's that on the right? We got some kind of tower thing. I don't know. Good grief. New York, 1909, Knickerbocker Hotel, Broadway, and 42nd Street. Let's see here. Law dog with his little penis helmet. Arc light. Got entrance to the subway here and here. Entrance downtown. Got a, a entrance to the underground right here. Ether lights. Pavement light right there and there. Edison Company. Yeah, old Edison, yeah. He's a real jackass. Ether antenna clock clocks are expensive. Let's see. What do we got? Let's see. Wow, look at that. The cornice is cool. Look at those balconies. Man. Got a flat earth asterisk right there. There. It's also an antenna. Wow, that thing is just dripping with all kinds of goodies. I mean, what would be the purpose of building this in 1900 or earlier? Pyramid. What would be the point?
building stores and offices Greenwood that must be Mr. Contractor right there on the job he's working with wood So ground level's here. So this, okay, ground level is this right here. Um, That's the ground level right there. Does that not look like a column and brick going down into the underground? Right there. No doubt. That's very suspect. Matter of fact, that's going underneath the street. Street is over here. That's going under the street. They got brick going under the street. And they got this big old blocked off here so you can't see what's going on. You wonder why these people don't know what the hell's going on. Portals there. Oh, that's an interesting mural. to add this okay that is a fire escape to nowhere that is a bricked over fire escaped window what in the hell it, oh that's super weird cedar brush Wow, okay. We definitely got something going on in this area right here. I wish we had a better view of it. This is the Ordnance Museum Academy Hall, U.S. Military Academy, and this is in 1901. I just thought this was interesting. I don't know what that is. Maybe a, uh, a, a, a mine for the ocean? Or, I don't know. That's weird. It's like a... Maybe a... I don't know. Kind of like a Gatling gun right there. That looks like a bomb. I don't know. Amazing how shiny these things are. That looks like a Gatling gun. Rolled up flags with spears on them. Muskets. The models must not be handled. I mean, these things are pristine. And look how they're all arranged. And just, I mean, straight decoration. And those things are brand new. They've never seen combat. lot going on in this picture <laughs> I don't know where to look is that a that's a uh, that looks Mayan what the hell's that got to do with this it's like cannon back here
Look at these swords just sticking straight up in the air. I mean, this place is downright dangerous. Now here's more muskets. I mean, they're just perfectly pristine. Which is just very odd. These must be ordinances. I don't know. They really didn't want you to touch the displays. I don't know. I just, it's something I ran across I thought was interesting. Philadelphia, 1905 land title trust building let's go look over here at this little bitty fella here he's like he's got his mud flood winders because that makes sense let's put the winders on the ground which gives you no security into your home somebody can just walk up beat their foot through the window and just walk right in be like i'm here for supper <laughs> Got ether fencing antennas, ether antenna there with your horseshit flag on it. That's cool right there. Ether antenna. Ether antenna. Oh Okay, let's go up here, see what's going on, represent your Taurus, we're going to add crappy awnings up here, got your antenna up there, we definitely would add this signage up here, that we can handle, Mr. Contractor installed that for us. You gotta love Mr. Contractor. He tries so hard. He says, I can do it. I know I can do it. I can build this. Okay. All right. Prove it. You can't. There's Freddy's on the job. Getting America built. Got a, a barbershop going into the underground right there. That would be pavement like there. That would be pavement like right there also. Big old doorways. Big door, little man. Okay. Go down, down, down. Let's see. Coal hole cover there. Alright, Philadelphia circa 1905, Bellevue Stratford Hotel, coal hole cover there, mud flood windows, uh, pavement light right there and there, and there, mud flood windows all down the side, all down the side over here too. Yep, Mr. Contractor, I'd like you to explain pavement light. Yep, can you do that? Can you can you handle that? Hey, Fred. Always on the job. Mud flood windows all over the place. Got grating over these. Got a stairwell down into the mud flood. Another mud flood hole there. Mud flood holes all over the front. Just incredible world. We don't build like this anymore because we can't. Not with economic, not and be economically viable. You're, you're not going to build this building and then make money. And I'm sorry, cons you know, capitalism 101 says that's a Tartarian lion, and that's a portal, and that's a scrubbed cartouche, and that's just really weird. I mean, look at this shit, man. There's no way that you could build this in a cons in a 
capitalist society that tries to make money on every damn thing, you know, a capitalist will sell you the rope to hang himself. Okay? So the capitalists ain't going to build this big ass monstrosity and try to make money off of it. Okay? It's not going to happen. They're not, that they don't got money in the, Rockefeller didn't get to be Rockefeller because he gave out thousand dollar bills. Some bitch gave out 10, 10 cent dimes. Okay. You think they're going to build a big ass building and decorate it to high heaven with coal hole covers here and here and mud flood windows all down the side. Another coal hole cover there. Mud flood windows all down here. You know, then we have to cover up the side here because we don't want people to see what's going on there. There was another building in between these two right here, which is interesting. Very, very interesting. And why would you build, why would you have this crappy building beside this building? There's something, a missing link there. You know, a, a capitalist is not going to build that. Okay, they're going to build plainly like this. This is capitalist, you know, style. Now, I don't think we built this building either because it's got mud flood windows here. Okay, I don't think we did that. Okay, although we have built buildings with mud flood windows because, you know, we're following, you know, a, a stupid idea that, that that's the way you, that people built. Okay, they tried to hide it. So they kept building like that. Portal. Well, so you can get locked into the basement. No, no, that's stupid. That's stupid. Philadelphia Circa, circa 1908 Bald, Baldwin Locomotive Works. And this this picture is very deceiving. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let you look at that for a minute and let's see if you can figure out what's deceiving about this photograph. See if you can figure out what they're doing here. And I'm going to just uh, give you a tip. Uh, if you've seen my video on viaducts of Atlanta, well, I probably need to go look at Philadelphia too. So let's go and see Fred on the job. Fred's working. No doubt. No doubt. You notice down here anything interesting? Big old arch windows. Got your water tower. It's interesting right there. Arc light. Here's one of these touring cars, which I think are just really weird. It's like, let's go tour what we stole. Very strange to me. And right there, you got mud flood windows. Right there, you see that? So that line goes straight there. There's windows right under the ground here. And then you look over here, what do you got? Okay, you got something going underground here. Okay. Hold on. We'll get there. We ain't there yet. Arc lights, big old dome. That looks like an observatory. Another observatory. Which I think are old world. Got their antennas, electric and gas fixtures, Ford Autos. Okay, now you see you got this big old road here, right? Well, this ain't just a road, this is a viaduct. Okay. You look right down here. See that? Did you catch it? 
you're on a viaduct. How many stories does that go below ground? At least two, I'd say. One to two, hard to tell. But then if you look straight across, the road just keeps going flat across. Okay, so you're looking at it from the beginning again, you got viaduct and it goes straight across. So Philadelphia could be a viaduct city. I'll have to look into that. All right, moving on. Post office, Augusta, Georgia, 1903. Now, when I'm thinking of the Pony Express, I'm thinking about Augusta, Georgia needing a building like this for its post office. So the pony can come up and get the mail. Got a fire hydrant, got mud flood winders. In case you need them. Got design work here. Interesting. I mean, this thing is just very ornate for got some pigeons hanging out. Very ornate for an ether antenna a, a post office I mean that we, we could do phone poles obviously they're crooked so you know we did that you know mr. contractor why why are we building po you know phone poles that are crooked we couldn't figure out how to make a phone pole that wasn't crooked we can now I'm just saying We can build a, you know, with straight wood lumber, but we can't build a phone pole. Make get a phone pole to be straight. I mean, this building is straight. Interesting, nice. I mean, this is ether antenna. You know, this is supposed to be a post office ether antenna. That thing's cool. Wow. Very fractal. I mean, this is a post office. You deliver your mail here. We would have added these steps. These doors go down further, or would have gone down further. Po mud flood windows. There's hitching post right here, and here, and here. Interesting. I mean, this is a post office. Okay. Sibley Cotton Mills, Augusta, Georgia, 1903. So this is in the same place. It's got a, a date of I-880. <laughs> At their antennas. I mean, this is a freaking cotton mill. You know what's interesting? Now... I have, in, in, in some research I'm doing on uh, Raleigh, North Carolina, I have found quite a few cotton mills in Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, you know, just, you know, as ornate as this and large as this. These are mud flood windows and the same phenomena where the windows are just below the ground and it's almost the same style structure which is very interesting. There's a flat earth asterisk right there and there. Got the, uh, um, I forget what they call it, the um, armor, the, the manless armor right here. I forget what you call that. That's some interesting ornamentation there. There's a there's something on the roof up here with some windows in it. That's interesting. Arched windows. That's very fractal looking. Look at those ether antennas. Wow. I mean, this isn't the first time I've seen a building very similar to this very similar matter of fact I, I i can think of two or three in 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 
uh, in Raleigh, North Carolina, that are like this. Just the same style. And they're cotton mills. And that's what's weird is, is it's... Why, why in the world do you need that to make cotton? I mean, that's the Queen's Palace. This is interesting. Okay. We got this, this ladder going up here. And there's lines running up this tower. Okay. This supposedly smoke tower. Okay. 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 So all those lines are running up here to this thing. I know it's hard to see, but it's there. And that is on top of a smokestack. That's not a smokestack. And I'll tell you, the, the, the ones that I've seen in Raleigh definitely did not have this on top. So they took it off. Uh, the Great Lakes of Port uh, Marquette. Michigan circa 1908 Marquette, Michigan Front Street. I've got several pictures here to show you of this area and This is the first of three I believe I says boss man, why not? Nice arched windows That's a safety that, that holds the building together. It's like a tie rod that holds the two sides together as a more to make it more stable. Drugs. No, I think that's ball span. We're gonna give him ball span. Other guy was just a he was a fake. This guy look Look right here, we got a, a barber pole, and this guy's coming up from the stairs. Look at his posture. There's an underground right there. He's coming up the stairs. I caught him. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm on this now. I mean, just look at the mud flow here. See them, them mud flood windows right there? And it just keeps going down. And you look back. The top of the road's up here. So if if this was, you know, if the mud came from up here, there could, if you go, if you draw a straight line all the way across here, looking this way, you know, all that's under mud. Okay. Now it's hard to tell from the pictures. You got your healing center there, otherwise known as the church today. Which they don't heal nothing. Rot your soul. Got your arc light. Let's see. Uh, just saying. God don't need a building. God's all around you. Okay, you're looking at God right there. Okay, God's all around you. You don't need a building to be with God. To experience God. To learn about God. To, for God to hear you. Okay, God don't need this shit. Okay, it's horse shit. Speaking of horses, there's Fred. He's on the job. He's killing that bike. It's your restaurant. Diamond symbology here. Look at the ornate. That's there. That's neat. Okay. There's an interesting ether antenna. We ought to add all this crappy signage, more diamond symbology. See, they got something going on here. See this kid? He's looking through the crack at what they're working on. 
and they would put up these they still just do this today so you can't see in but you have to wonder what's going on behind there have to wonder that law dog right there that law man he ain't got no penis hat though he must not not be authority all right let's move on uh, the great lakes port of marquette michigan 1908 this is going to be a two-part panoramic shot so this will be interesting and what we were just looking at i think was right here if i'm not mistaken I think that might be the road we were just looking at. I'm not absolutely positive. Anywho, got the slums over here, and they got mud flood windows too. You know, arch windows. Because in the slums, we need to build arch windows. Mr. Contractor felt that the arch window, which would probably be more difficult to build than a square window, a rectangular window, a flat across header just saying just saying don't you think that'd be a little bit more difficult in the building than than you know a flat header mr contractor well we built this world <laughs> you ain't built shit We would have added these stairs. Mr. Contractor, this is this is your neighborhood. You just work back here and you built these little A-frame houses and put that together. That'll be what you can work on. You ain't qualified to build no rose window. Okay? You ain't got the grapes to build that. Right? Wild World Pyramid Symbology. A lot going on in this town. Just amazing architecture right next to, to junk. Really weird. Looks like some mud flood wind is going there. Definite mud flood window there. There's some mud flood windows there. A lot going on in this picture. See, this chimney is, is a modification, it looks like. Look how they do the electrical. God, that's so unsafe. Uh. Arched windows. More arched windows. More healing. Look at all the healing centers. That's That might be one there two three four five five healing centers that's amazing jb cigar Ah, what we got here? Is that mud flood wind as I see? Mr. Contractor, can I ask you a question? Why'd you do that? And why'd you put arches on them? I mean, look how shitty they look. 
and you're going to put arches on them? I mean, how much did you charge me extra for that, Mr. Contractor? Huh? Mr. Contractor? Note, note these uh, train tracks right here for the next picture. Please, if you ain't got nothing better to do. I'm just saying, got a barber pole. Anytime I see barber poles, I start looking down. I don't know where it's going to, though. It's hard to tell with these people here. I don't know. Got a meat in the mines over here. They're trying to figure out how to cover this thing up. Well, I bet they had some really interesting meetings about how the hell to cover this up. All right, let's move on to the next picture. And you'll see the, the train track that we're looking at is over here. Okay, let me let me back up and, and, and the mud flood winders we were looking at were right here. Okay, so get, get your bearings. Okay, right here is where the picture connects. Okay, so basically you can turn to the right and this is what you see. Just ha so you have your bearings. Okay, this this fella, he's just going to walk down the road playing his drum. pa rum pa pum pum And he's going to toot his horn. I mean, look at that. Mr. Contractor, I'd like you to explain that to me. Because you and I are going to have a difference of opinion on why you did that. And why did you do that, Mr. Contractor? Mr. Contractor, we got to talk. And look, look, look here. I mean, look. Okay. God. Look at the. This is one level here. Okay. And this is. A, well, these are two different buildings, so it's kind of hard to tell. Shoot. That this is one level. And this, this is really another level here. It's hard to tell. It's hard to do that explanation with that. Because they're different. They're set differently. The wind sizes. Ah, shoot. I, that That's hard to explain. That, I, that, I don't know. That That's crazy looking. It'd be easier if they were, if it was the same building. It's not. So that the windows won't line up because they were just built differently. But this is one f level here, and then there's another level here, and then another level here. But this building is actually, it looks to me like it's shorter, definitely here, than this building. Like the, 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 the ceiling height is, is shorter. I don't know. Mr. Contractor, you got to explain that right there to me. Okay, you got a door up here. And you got a door down here, Mr. Contractor. Mr. Contractor, can can you explain that? And then, Mr. Contractor, you gonna put stairs going down here? You got windows. You got doors up. You got doors down. You got doors left. You got doors right. You got doors up and down and left and right. Motherfucker, build me a door so I can get my damn business. What is this horse shit, man? Why would you build that? This is the most complicated structure in the history of man. Either you're really freaking smart and so more smart than any other person on earth that you can build this and nobody can figure out how the hell to get in and out of the doors. Or you're an idiot. Or, or, or maybe, just maybe, you didn't fucking build it. Just saying. You didn't build this world. You didn't build that either. Did you, Mr. Contractor? Mr. Stick Framer, did you build that? Did you get out your nail good and build that? Huh? Huh? Did you get out your power tools and build that? Huh? No. You might build these. Yeah, you might. I don't think you did. No, Mr. Contractor, I don't think you built them either. I think they built the wood frames too. Not all of them. But many of them. You know, figure out what the difference between old world, you know, lumber and new world lumber is, okay? Old and new. Look at the tree gro tree ring growth. 
Look at that old world building right there. Coal. Grain. And then this thing. I mean, we got, I mean, just look at the, look at the frame. This, I don't even know. This thing is just crazy. I, I don't even know. This thing's out of a movie. Maybe this is just a movie set. I mean, look, what in the world? That's crazy. I mean, I, 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 yeah, we could have built this stuff here. Yeah. We, we build out of wood. That's our thing. We get wood. We build with it. We cut all the forest down. Okay. We like killing things. This is how we build. But seriously? I mean, what the hell is that right there? What are those things? I don't know. I, 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 this, this is above my pay grade. What the hell? You got a track going underneath to this thing or something. I don't, I don't want the hell going on here. This thing is just, what the hell is this thing? I got an arc light up here so you can hang out on a deck. We have built a deck in the middle of nowhere to do what? I, I don't. I gotta move on. I can't handle it. Jersey Shore 1905 along the beach, Atlantic City, New Jersey. And. There's one thing I thought was interesting. I said that's boss man right there. And there's Freddy's on the job. He's right. He's acting as a pony today. I mean, you know, it's interesting that these people are just dressed to the freaking nines. Perfect shoes. Hats are perfect. Everything's perfect. Tipping their hat to the ladies. Got a big old pipe i mean life is good i mean some people are just go sit down and just had have, have old poor old black man pull them around you know man we got two black men in a foot in one photo oh they're pushing people well oh, well that figures man they got more man anyways I like looking at the construction of things. I mean, these people are just dressed to the freaking nines in 1905 with not a care in the world. They don't give a damn. And why would you have all all these clothes at the beach? It ain't you ain't hot. Anyways, what I found interesting about this photograph is this: deforest wireless. Okay, I got nothing. What's this thing? I don't know. Let me know. Vanderbilt University, Nashville, Tennessee, 1901. With mud flood windows. Mud flood doors, mud flood windows. We would have added these stairs. We probably, you know, it's quite possible we, we raised these up. Or we could have just built them. I don't know, flat earth asterisks right there. Flat earth asterisks comes in many shapes. Etherin, uh, fencing there. 
That's interesting right there. That's very interesting. Ether fencing there. Very interesting. Clocks. Okay. Washington, D.C., 1908, New Union Station. And there's Freddy's on the job, as usual. And we got tiny little trees that we had to plant because there's no trees anywhere. It's one of them things where the, I guess the law sits in. something there that's interesting this right here is just what look at that look at that yeah that's head scratcher there got a smokestack that's not a smokestack another one back here the trains come in there Etheric lights, big old arches, big old doorways, got eagle otherwise known as a phoenix on a ball, another eagle or phoenix, this is something we built here, Mr. Contractor built that. He'll tell you, you built that too. Fountain. Fountain are part of the free energy system. Lots of etheric lights. I mean, look look at the scale of this thing compared to, to this. Uh, something going as something right there. I don't know. They just don't add up. Why does this need that I don't know Phoenician ship coming out of the pole those arches are humongous there's another uh, fountain fountain is part of the free energy system trolleys got a ladder lane here I probably had to get up there and fix something that's broke because you know yeah Willard's Hotel Washington 1902 and there's Freddy's on the job as usual that's boss man right there we got uh, mud flood windows right there we got wrought iron covering mud flood windows right there wrought iron covering Seaboard air. That's a weird window right there. That's their antenna. The columns are just huge. Portal window, portal, portal. More portals up here, another one there. Wowza. That's a cool car. These are all mud flooded windows right here down that goes in down behind there. When you see that um iron railing there, you, you know there's something behind it. Okay. All right. Now, I want you to take a real good look at this picture, and you're you might see something wrong with it, but I don't think you really see what's wrong with it, and you won't see it till I show it to you. But if you look at this picture very closely, and I highly suggest you, uh, the all the pictures for tonight as always will be in the description and you can look at them for yourself and get in there and get look at the details 
and this one I especially highly recommend you get in there and look at this image right here is exactly how I found it and this image is photoshopped 100 percent 100 percent no questions not debatable I'm gonna prove it you're gonna see it matter of fact I'm not gonna have to tell you it's gonna present itself have you figured it out yet okay let's get in here and see what's going on okay you see up here see that and the way they do this is they take the negative okay and they 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 make it an image they make a, a, a large negative basically a large negative in an image and they scratch off the picture with a, a like an exacto knife they scratch it off and it becomes clear and then they retake the picture and that's how they photoshopped it's actually very simple okay but that's not what's cool about this picture I'm not gonna show it to you yet I will let you see that there's this pole here with these lines here okay they're going up take a look at this building you can see there's more photoshopping see photoshopping all the way there okay this is old time photoshopping okay photoshop's been around a long time and this image has probably been photoshopped in order to um, do a postcard or something we probably did these doors and probably added those steps okay you see they scraped it off here okay so there's a building there see that there's a building okay trees here okay this isn't even the good stuff I ain't even got to the good stuff yet okay I'm just building up to it okay I'm about to show it to you okay you ready to see photoshopping real photoshopping see that that's a reflection of what I'm gonna show you right there you see that see that right there that's a reflection okay you're looking at a Photoshop right there do you see it is it clear to you yet go up a little more Secret Service that's interesting you want some more you see anything yet I'll give you a little more see anything yet what is that can you see it it's there but they have photoshopped it they have strategically taken it out what is that I know what it is do you know what it is let's look at the picture again where's it at see it now it's right here going a little closer you see it now okay I'm gonna tell you what that is is a one of those light towers okay this is the raising mechanism here and this is the truss system here and this sucker goes way on up in the air up here and it's got the lights up here but for this image what they were doing was they were probably doing a postcard where they were just wanting to show the building okay I don't know what they were planning here 
but they were probably going to show everything here. Not sure about what they were going to do here. They might have been planning on cutting it off or something. I'm not sure. But they were they were, they wanted that pole gone. But what's important about this is this is a photoshopped image. Okay. This this thing was copyrighted like this in this condition between 1902 and 1906. This is early 1900s Photoshop proof positive see the line going up there got more Photoshop in there see the line coming here right there it goes up up okay you got lines going across here that's photoshopped they strategically scrape it off a little bit Okay, to get rid of it. I got lines going across here. That's photoshopped. Interesting Coppola. So that is a 100% confirmed 19 early 1900s photoshopped image. This beaks out. my kung fu and it is strong you still here it's over go home go see you later